Um, typically, um, I'm not a geologist, but copper can be in pyrite veins associated with iron sulfides. It can also be in carbonates, but it's not uniformly distributed throughout the subsurface rock material. And therefore, what mines do is they blast a, a area and then they take the rock material and rock that has copper that can be economically extracted, they recover and it goes through a process for extraction. The rock that does not have copper at levels that can be economically extracted goes to what's called the waste rock pile. If it goes to extraction, the, the current technology, and this is, all these technologies are constantly being, there's research on all these technologies and they're constantly being improved. But flotation is the current technology for copper extraction where you, um, you take the rock, you grind it up, and it's really impressive to see the machinery they have for grinding rocks. So they can dump it into a huge pit and then they lower these large um, metal conical grind grinders down into the pit to sort of bust the rock up into smaller sizes and then it goes on conveyor belts into rotating drums that um, pulverize it even more until it becomes a, a um, material about the texture of powder. So it's really amazing that you go from this coarse rock material that they've blasted with dynamite into something which is mine tailings, which is the cover, the, the texture of a flour or powder, a very fine material. And then that goes into these vats and they bubble a certain chemical through it that the copper will um, attach to. And it's bubbled through so it floats to the surface and then it kind of goes over the edge of these vats and can be collected for as a um, material that can be dried out and then sent to a smelter to um, actually refine it and get the copper. And then the material that, that the, the um, slurry that didn't have copper, so the, rock, the powdered rock material that had no copper, becomes your mine tailings.